smash.gg, but okay. I'm not the one that's in charge of payouts. They can figure that one out. So did they, uh, Dakota, did they say they're not going to do 3v3s? Uh, yeah, I'm not seeing much traction for it, so it's probably for the best. We should have done I mean, Brawl. There, <laughs> we can still start a cat. <laughs> no, no, we can't. One set up. Yeah. I don't know. I think it'd be better if like the tournament ends and we just everybody just plays friendlies for like two hours. Like if you want to play friendly, stay here. If you want to leave, get the hell out of here. Right. <laughs> anyway, I think we're I think we're getting right it back into you know winter winter finals already. These guys are yep. starting. All Smash right. Smash versus uh, Ray Plaza. Yep. I don't think I've seen Smasher do two rel against Ray Plaza no matter how many times they played. Yeah, I mean their last time they played was I believe zero requiem, and it was not pretty for them or it was not pretty for Smasher. But it was close once he switched from off of Mario into Mega Man. So okay. he's doing the logical thing of, hey, I did better with this character the last time we played, so I'm going to start the set off with it. Yeah, I mean, so far it doesn't seem to be doing what he wanted, but we'll see how it goes. There's yeah. still a lot more of the match. I mean, go. this is one of those matches where you don't really know how it goes, because like Mega Man, he has only so few options that aren't actually projectile based, which I think are like dash attack, fair, and back air. And everything else is a is a projectile, and Rosalina could just uh, gravitational pull it like it's nobody's tomorrow. Yeah. And then if he's too close when he starts gravitational pulling, he can get hit by his own projectiles. So he's got to watch out for that as well. And as smart as a player as Ray Cross is, he doesn't even need to reply. Uh, rely on the gravitational pull that often. Yeah. He's just doing it so Smash's options are limited. Yep. Oh, he tried to go for using the fair. He got he got rid of Luma with uh two of the lemons in the air, but he tried to get him with the fair. Oh, he kills himself. Oh, wow. Smash, this is not how you want to start out grand finals or winner's finals here. 14%. Yes. Bomb, uh, but that it's it's not even about like he's already taking he's taking eighteen percent off that first combo. It's that he only was able able to dish out seventy five percent to right across his first stock. Yeah, like even though he suicided, it's still like you would have wanted to have done a little bit more percent than that. Exactly. Rayquaza though, doing what he is known for, and that is creating one of the most impenetrable fortresses this side of the uh, Mario Galaxy. <laughs> Oh, that, okay. he almost got it. Nice up smash. Be real, uh, realizing that Rayquaz was just going to go right for the roll. Yeah, if he had read it better, he could have done the up tilt to punish, but he didn't know if he was going to be too far over to left or right. So I don't think Ray was at a high enough percent for that to work anyway, to at least to kill. He I was mean, at like 80. I mean, it definitely would work right now. Because you got to remember, it's Battlefield. Right. Pretty big stage. Battlefield. But that down tilt. One of uh, Rayquaza's strongest attributes mm -hmm. is just trapping you at, or trapping any of his opponents at the ledge, utilizing that down tilt and jabs from Rosalina to just secure, uh, like just a good, like a good spot. Yeah, someone who's had to play him a bunch of times at uh, Westland Warzone when he was in farming mode. It is very up. What do you mean when he's in farming mode? This, this man is an agricultural specialist. <laughs> I swear, I've th I, I've heard rumors that he might have a. Uh, Count on farmers only. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, Ray, if you watch the VODs, I'm, I'm only kidding about that. I thought <laughs> it was, I was doing it for the comedy. Anyway, 137% on Smasher. Things are looking like it is over for this game one. And just like that, 8%. Pretty yeah. dominating start here to Winners Finals. Yeah, we're going to have to see is Smasher going to change or is he going to try to adapt, going to try to adapt with Mega Man? Yeah. And hopefully. Uh, he might be thinking that I'm going to avoid that SD and see how much better I do with Mega Man. No, he's just going to switch right over to Mario. So we're going to see how that works because, as, as we've said, normally, regardless of which character goes, yeah. Rayquaza kind of poops on him. But and he stick with Mega Man? No, nope. switch right to Mario. When, when one doesn't work, go to the next character. Yeah. So I have four of them. But we're going to see how this Mario... Oh my goodness, that pivot grab. Up air, getting the funny rings out. This man, Rayquaza, doing what he is known for. Juggling yeah. fortresses, making your life a living hell with I this mean, Rosalina. At least he gives you some funions as he's beating you to a Oh yeah. I mean he does he does the onion rings. Like the and that's with the down air. It, yeah. It's it's fun to juggle. You hate getting up air. Or you hate getting down air. Because the down air Luma is it's evil. Yeah, freaking it kills you off to the side. That's the dumb thing. Yep. 
Nice back air, gets Smasher to the ledge. But Smasher gets up and does a jab, jab, jab. And a pretty unorthodox ledge get up option, if I would say so myself. Oh my goodness. He almost read that up, that neutral air from Luma hitting, and almost got an up smash off himself to combo with uh, Luma. Rosalina's potential. I feel like there's still more that people can learn about her combos. Hey man, just if you if you guys witnessed the buzz, I mean the buzz at uh Civil War, he did get some uh bracket blessings, but he played out of his mind, and he shows that like Rosalina still is that potential top five character. Oh, the up air, Luma. Luma. <laughs> Why? Luma, you pesky devil. Luma uh, knocks Smash up there, and Rayquaza just followed him. It, it begins it by Luma, it ends it by Luma. That is the that is the Rosalina code of honor. Up smash. Not, no, there's no. That's honor. a dead Luma though. Yeah. You heard the little cry, but Rayquaza, very content to sitting on that Smashville platform. He's only got 13 seconds to wait, and that's very doable when you have the high ground and the percent lead. Yeah, when you have the high ground, you don't run the risk of getting your legs cut off. So. No. Well, his history has shown that those who have the high ground win. Yeah. Shout out to Anakin Skywalker. Yeah, you don't want to get your legs cut. Board off. smash seals the deal. Rayqu Smasher. Showing some signs of life. He is, because he's only taken 33% in his second stock. So he's not in that much of a deficit. If he can, all right. If he can do some decent damage and yeah. then potentially get a, a uh, edge guard situation, we might yeah. see an early kill. I do like the option of coming down with down air. It contested with the Luma uh, and the up air. Like he managed to squeeze in between Rosa and the uh, Luma and use, utilizing the, having that constant hitbox on the side of him actually coll collided with Luma's hitbox to cancel it out and hit Rosa. Yeah. So wow. Smasher might have found a, a quick answer onto how he might get off this ledge and uh, finally touch down when things aren't going his way at the ledge. Yeah, but before that, he still has to have a good neutral. So All he right. Get to new, Another but. Luma. All right, this is where Smasher has to try and capitalize it. Rayquaza, so good at just making sure you can't hit him, but he'll hit you because you're trying to hit him. Yeah, like look at that pivot grab. That was like max distance yep. pivot grab. And that there. entire time, Rayquaza took like 9%, while Smasher took over 20 just trying to hit Ray, Ray even once. Yeah, Ray is really good at making your, his opponents a little bit ups annoyed at how to approach him and how to hit him. Oh, and, that board oh smash. Goodness. Ray, excellent adaptation there. Uh, realized that Smasher was getting around the uh, the, the aerials or the oppression at the ledge with like his up airs with the down air. So, so he's like, all right, this guy, he's going to down air. I'll just walk a little bit back. Forward smash. Yeah, if if Rosalina couldn't crawl, I think that she would uh, be a lot worse. Her ledge oppression wouldn't be as it, oppressive. Yeah, because <laughs> just the fact that she can crawl makes it so you have almost never know which side she's going to be on. Because you can move a little bit forward, and then you try and hit her, she moves a little bit back, and then your effort was wasted. Yeah. All right, game number three, though. Smasher on his winner's bracket life. Rayquaza looking to sit pretty in the winner's side of Grands and potentially take home his second MIUS event. Wow, where you at, Zenodo? Don't well, let this happen. <laughs> Zenodo's in Austin, Texas, losing to Bowser. Kappa. Kappa, indeed. Kappa Ross. Anyway, so like th th this is just another match with Ray. Starts out such a strong start. Oh Seems yeah. Seems like that 96 percent while only taking eight. Rayquaza just ooh, oh, he, he just goodness. did him dirty. Oh, but Mario with a magnet hand. Yeah, magnet gloves. Check that. Yeah, check that man's check gloves. Check the gloves. Check that man's gloves. Ooh, oh, <laughs> Rayquaza just threw out two quick smash attacks. He's like, all right, approach me, dude. I'm going to end you. Yeah, and when Smasher decides to not do uh, the jumping on the ledge option, he just got down tilted away. 8% on, on Rayquaza. And that's not going to kill because there's no rage, but Smasher's going to have to do something. Otherwise, he's just dead in the water. Yeah. All right, though. Ray, <laughs> Ray was effectively playing... Luma versus Mario. Like, that yeah. was all Luma. I wish there was at least a thing where Luma didn't do as much damage or knockback when she's far away from Rosalina, because as you just saw, Rayquaza did jab, 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 just to push Luma out there, and then he forward smashed. And he had the range of the entire, almost the entire stage to kill him. Yeah. But you know, that's just how do you, that that's kind of, show is almost where like Smasher just, he doesn't really know what to do when he's at such a 
big disadvantage against this tyrant from space. Oh my goodness. Yeah. I would Another definitely say air. that was only the tyrant. Oh yeah. Forward smash Ooh. almost seals the deal. Not gonna get it. Didn't get the Luma sweet spot of uh, forward smash. Yeah, he got the galaxy, but he didn't get the star. Yeah. He didn't get the sun. Yeah. All right, now, right now, at this percent, I would I was say, like, Smasher, say. he's got to watch out because he's in, he, I'm pretty sure he's in uh, up smash percent range. Definitely and Smasher's is. been a ta being a tad aggressive on shield to try and approach Ray. So if Ray reads one straight aerial, he's just going to up smash. Or gets the that Luma hidden there. Sure. And Ray cleans that up with a quick 30 and a handshake. Moving on into Grand's winner's side of Grand Final.